Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're doing something awesome, okay? As an appreciation, as a thank you, as a everything for 50,000 subscribers, I'm gonna go ahead and build a map that you guys can have for absolutely free. I'm not sure if we're giving away one copy or if we're just gonna give away the map and anybody who wants to use it can use it. The only thing I'm requesting is please do not resell this map. Like, it's free to everybody, so it's all good. I did hop in the Discord, which is also where I'll be giving the map away at, and I said, hey, I'll be building a map in a video soon to give away as a thank you for 50k subs. I'm not sure, you know, what I just explained, and I said, what theme should it be? Floating Island, Normal Island, Box Simulator, or Other? and floating island by an overwhelming majority. So we're gonna be building a floating island map for you guys today. And I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna set it up as like a scene. So it's just like a map, not really any sort of playability, more so like a, a showcase-ish type map. I don't know, but if I make it like a simulator, anyone who's not making a simulator is not gonna wanna use the map. So I think I'll just make it the map itself. Like, no buildings or points of interest overly? I, I don't know. But the first thing we got to do is build a floating island. So I'm going to delete this cube and bring in a plane because, hey, that's what I want to use. I'm going to scale this up. We'll go something like this. Why not? And then I'm going to add a bunch of loop cuts. We'll do that many. So there's like two boxes in between each one. We'll do the same to this side. All right. There we go, guys. So first things first, I got to make the shape of the island like a... I've never really made a good floating island <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, but I'm definitely down to try. So vertice select definitely is going to help us out a bit and maybe proportional editing even. Let me just press G and make that like a good bit bigger. So I'll grab this, just kind of move it over, move it down. Oh yeah, this is going to work out nice. I'll grab a corner over here. And I'm not pressing G because I still want it to be on like the same plane. Um, so I can't like too much. All right, guys. So for island shape, we're going for this, okay? I think it's a cool shape. It's not just a circle. It's not just a square. Pretty unique. I'm liking what I'm seeing, okay? Now, um, I want to kind of select everything on the bottom here and just extrude it so we're not having like faces that we can't see you know some invisible faces that's never fun so let me grab all of this stuff i just press and that's going to give you like this kind of box select type thing very helpful there we go and i'm just going to press e to extrude and bring it down a little bit and then i'll press s to scale to give it a little bit of a you know stuff <laughs> a little uh, a little lip here now i'm going to go back in and only select the inner parts so starting here and grabbing all of this stuff and then i'm going to extrude that down and that's going to give us more of an island and i'm just going to keep working my way in and in so we'll grab that extrude actually we need to bring the whole thing down something like this and then extrude scale something like that definitely works a lot better we'll probably bevel this edge as well uh just because it'll look better at the end of the day so i think we'll do one more good set of like the whole inside like this we'll move it down and then we'll extrude it, scale it in, something like that. And then I think I want to do two that are just kind of like little beams, I guess, that sort of hang off. So bring this down and then extrude a little bit, scale, something like that. And then do one more over here. Because with the floating island, like, of course, nothing's going to be the same shape. So we just got to try our best to like, you know, not make it all the same shape. I am going to grab my vertices select real quick. And just move this kind of up. I don't want like a super sharp edge. Not that anyone will overly see the bottom, but we don't want people to like, you know, if they do, we don't want it to look horrible. Now I'm going to turn on face orientation. And as you can see, everything is inside out. Someone taught me a trick and this is a good time to try it out and see if it works. So I'm going to go into edit mode and press shift N. <laughs> it actually works. Yo, whoever taught me that in the comments. Thank you so much. I used to click on individual faces and do alt N flip. Oh yeah, that was nice. All right, up next, we definitely need a little bit of a separation here. So I'm gonna go into the side view and then our wireframe mode and select all of these top faces here. This is the grass, so I want that to be a different thing. So P and selection, there we go. Now we have a grass spot and a ground spot and I wanna auto smooth it. Shade smooth and let's auto smooth right down here. Maybe not, maybe not too much auto smooth. We're about to figure it out. A good little, uh. I like that. Now, I'm gonna scale the top up just a little bit, okay? Go back into our edit mode, press Alt, holding on this edge, and then F, that's gonna fill it in. And now I'm gonna grab some vertices 
and kind of have some grass hanging off, so just stuff like this. In fact, I may have to grab this whole edge again and extrude it. Inset, extrude, scale, something like this, and then grab lines instead, and then we won't have like that weird issue we were gonna do. Yeah, something like that will definitely work. But I can't do a play-by-play -play for this whole video, or else you guys will get super bored. I'll see you in studio when I get kind of the whole map set up, and the- <coughs> Dang, dogs! Y'all good? Y'all scaring me. Gosh, that was loud. Uh, I'll see you guys in studio with probably nearly a completed map. I don't know when I'll check in again, but the link to this map to the RBX file will be in the Discord, so make sure to join the Discord. All right, guys, I lied. I didn't hop into a studio yet, but I have the island. I made some chains, and then I made the right here. Uh, nothing too, too spectacular, but it's just it's something kind of subtle, kind of nice. I may or may not add some vines on it. Uh, I don't know yet. I don't want to... Oh, now it's going to... Hmm. <laughs> All right, something like that'll work. And I have all the stuff made now, so I think I'm gonna hop into studio and get some sort of a layout done, and then the studio file will be in the dev resources tab of my Discord server, so make sure to join that. And once again, thank you guys so much for 50k. All right, guys, put this map together in studio real quick. It's pretty simple. We got some rocks, some floating islands, some chains, and some trees, and a little bit of paths worked out as well. These assets you can use for whatever games you want. This is sort of a, a showcase of the assets, if that makes sense. But you can use these for whatever you want as long as you're not selling it. Because, hey, uh, that would be probably pretty bad. And whoever you're selling it to would probably be kind of upset that they're not original assets made for them. So, anyways, I hope you guys like it. Hope you guys liked the video and thank you so much for 50k subscribers. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.